Is it Christmas time? Uh, not for me, no. When is a f- when does Christmas season start for you? I think post Thanksgiving. Yeah. It just. I, well, I wanted I, to. I, should we get the tree up, Katie? No, no. Why not? <laughs> too early. No. I'm kind of a post Thanksgiving too. I'm like a, I'm I'm got like a day after Thanksgiving. Like I want it to be soon, but I don't want to gloss over Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Something I just thought of. This is a new new opinion, uh, but. I would be willing to budge if we put up the tree on the day of that you fall back, like daylight savings, because that's such a sad day. That's such a bummer mm. that you got to brighten it up with literally with a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's the only time I would do it before Thanksgiving. Daylight savings. Yeah, when is that? It's a couple no, Sundays. November 6th. Next, this upcoming Sunday. Didn't they send it through the <coughs> Senate to get rid of it or to keep it so oh. that it never changed and then nothing happened that's to right. it? Yeah. They what were they just. Yeah. Well, our d- government. I did hear, and it kind of makes sense, I guess. There's kind of good news while why they do it because um, it, it's like if they if they got rid of daylight savings, then you're having these kids like show up to their seven thirty first period. I mean, the sun won't come up till like nine fifteen or something. So I guess there's all this maybe mm-hmm. argument of like that would even make these kids getting up more difficult and put them at more of a disadvantage. I don't know. We kept them home for two years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. I did see a tweet of someone there. They're saying like, "Hey, your kids' uh, Halloween costumes can't have a mask because it's distracting." Or <laughs> I saw a viral tweet of that. They're like, "This was a real message sent to us from our school." <laughs> that is kind of interesting. That's funny. Uh, but I'm. All, I, I. I don't know. Would obviously the sun setting at like four thirty is horrible. But would it be equally? Wouldn't it be equally as horrible as if it was dark until like nine a.m. Yeah, I guess those are the options, right? We only have right. like limited daylight. How do you want to shift it? It's just we should just hang it up for the few months. Can regardless. we just yeah go somewhere tropical? Could we I meet mean, in the middle. Thirty minutes difference. Thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty oh, minutes. There we go. That's Brilliant. Not confusing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I want to do Christmas. I think we get it going. Why not? I think we did maybe put it up a little early no. last year because we were gone so much. Well, I'm excited. We're back to a fake tree this year. No, we're not. Because Katie didn't uh, no, pull we're not. her deal. No, uh, no. Listen clearly, Recties. Watch. La- watch. I'm going to be watch. seven months pregnant okay. uh, getting uh, a Christmas uh, tree uh, by myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm we, doing. I've, I've been a... Fr- you remember this. I'm a big believer. I'm the president of the fake tree gang. Just throw up the fake tree. Katie's... We got to have the real one. So the past two Christmases, we've run up, grabbed a f- uh, real one. I remember the first time we did it, She's immediately looking at like 12 foot trees. I mean, our ceilings are <laughs> nine feet tall. I you want know, a I, big Christmas tree. <laughs> it was like our ceilings are maybe nine feet tall. We can get like a seven foot. You put the star on it. You put a base of seven. And she was, so she was immediately like, what's the point of this anyway? We got it. And this past year, uh, the deal, I remember the first year we did it, we were clueless. Like, what do you do with this literal tree yeah. after Christmas? We live in the city. It's kind of hard. So There's we a like city pickup day that I missed. Well, the first year we kind of we figured out together, but the yeah. last year I was like, okay, if I'll go, we'll get this whole tree, but we gotta get rid of it properly. And she's like, I got it, I got it. I was like, okay, if you don't get rid of the tree, there goes the real tree thing. That's our deal. And we had that tree in our backyard until July. Well, to be fair, <laughs> we were on I tour until finally, May. So it was I went back there with a saw and like cut it up into little logs and just like stuffed it in a trash bag and threw it into the, which it's I like, not get. Good. You uh, shouldn't do that. Right. But I mean, uh, so yeah, no real tree this year. No worries. Don't you all I'm agree? still going to get it. <laughs> yeah, <just seven> months, <laughs> she's be hauling that thing out of Home Depot by herself seven months pregnant. Right. The thing is, is that Got someone would help me. Right. That's a be- That's the nice thing about being pregnant. Someone sees me, they're like, oh, this poor yeah. woman, you know, so someone will help. And then they're like, what are you by? Your, what's where's your husband, sweetie? What would you say? I would say he's at home playing video games. <laughs> and well, then they'll be like, like no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> well, why? Why is that? He doesn't he doesn't believe in Christmas. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> He's Jewish, but this baby will I'm have sorry about the Kanye comments. That's what I'm say. <laughs> I did, um, dude. I just I've gotten two spam calls since we started this. Anyone getting a bunch of spam texts? Uh, a lot driving of me nuts. Stuff, like, yep. Can we expect your support come voting day? Oh, I got one yesterday. It said, uh, "Hi Thomas, I'm Tanya with Black Votes Matter. Early voting has started. Want your polling location addressed?" And I te- I texted back. I said. 
I own several pairs of Yeezys. Does that matter? <laughs> and within two minutes, the response said, yes, the election is November 8th. You can find more info here. So you I'm said, not sure. She says it matters. I don't know how it does. Um, interesting text. They probably saw that you had the mixed girl in the video. They're like, mm, hey, let's yeah. throw him in the group text. He deserves it. <laughs> right? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm cool. I'm hip. <laughs> yeah. I got, I did inadvertently wear my, a pair of Yeezys like the day you know, that disaster happened. If you didn't see Kanye, I guess has been repeatedly saying anti-Semitic things and like doubling down on it. And he said some weird stuff. He's uh, like, I don't think George Floyd died because of, uh, you know, the, the police officer. I think it was drug overdose. Yeah. Like, was, well, we saw the guy's knee on his neck. You've watched the video. Like, <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't buy it. Yeah. I I mean, he's clinically insane. Well, that's I've, part of me is like, why are we keep interviewing? Them? They're like, yeah, he is diagnosed with severe bipolar. And then he sometimes is normal and sometimes says horrific things. And we're like, that checks out. Why is this happening? <laughs> Stop interviewing the guy. Did you see this last clip? Dude, I got sent this. Uh, so now he's kind of starting to apologize a little, but not really. Like, listen to, listen to this. That He just keeps providing content. The thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed by a, I'm not going to say what race, what people, uh, doctor, and what hospital, and what media went to. We know I can't say that. It was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I did not expect that to be the end of the sentence. Yeah, like, what? This guy is unbelievable. Is I mean, that sounds like a, a Daniel Tosh punchline yeah. or yeah. something. Like that's an actual stand-up. Not gonna stand say comedy. it. I can't say it. And then he, there's this anti-Semitism brewing in him. He's like, I gotta say it. And then the Yeezys. Do it. Are Yeezy? Can I wear my Yeezys? I don't know. <laughs> really? No more Yeezys? I mean, I don't know the full details of it. Do you guys? Do you know, Derek? What? That's all? about as much as I know. Is what okay. you said? Yeah. yeah. I, uh. But yeah, literally everyone's. He's not a billionaire them. anymore, right? Didn't his value go <laughs> below a billion? They apparently he lost like half to like two thirds of his net worth overnight or something. Hmm. He did. And then he, he, he barged did. into what was it, Skechers? Oh yeah, something? he did. He just barged <laughs> in, like let's do a deal. And they're like, Kanye, get out of here. It's Wait, he just went to like a, a brick and mortar Skechers I, store. And I think he went to, to the corporate. I think it was okay. the corporate. <laughs> yeah, he just the yeah, yeah. like y'all got someone I can help me. Uh, I need a ten and a half. And uh, an equity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Million dollar partnership. <laughs> um, yo, what's their offices? Well, um, that's good at least. He didn't just go to one of its outlet. corporate offices. Yeah. Okay. Shoe carnival. I just like to think he's in there. He's like, <laughs> yeah. it's time to go to Skechers. Yeah. I mean, he needs <laughs> to have like his PR team. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to just like take his phone away. I mean, he needs to be kind of. Shut down a little bit. It, probably medicated. I think he's like he's very open that he hasn't been on his meds in like two years. Okay. So that I mean, I think medicine uh, works. Right. Usually, mm -hmm. so it's worth a shot. Yeah. 